G'day guys and girls and welcome back to our little channel, Goodies Beer Reviews. I just quickly thought I'd come outside and, and do a quick review. There's nothing quick about me usually, but this will be a quickie. Uh, I love a coffee. I do like a coffee. I make my own coffee, even if, albeit I do drink instant. I drink what's on special. Even when I was at work, I used to drink the old international roast and people used to rag on me while they're, while they're drinking their soy almond frappa lattes with a half of extra shot and caramel. I'm a flat white guy, but I love coffee. I like strong coffee. I like black coffee. I do like coffee. So when it comes to uh, liqueurs, I love an espresso martini and I love a coffee liqueur. So I picked up a bottle of this. I've been wanting to do it for a while. And it's made in New Zealand, which is why I picked it up, because every beer like Cher, Behemoth, some of those breweries in are pumping out some magnificent beers from New Zealand. It must be the water. So I picked up this jumping goat liqueur. It comes in a black, and the other bottle, I think, has vodka in it. So this comes in at 30, 30, 30 or 30% ABV, 18 standard drinks. Uh, it's got a bit of a story there, jumping goat. It says shake it, drink it how you want. Tomorrow starts tonight and all that. And now look, it's a nice ball, 33% ABV, 700ml bottle. I always give it a bit of a, a shake. And look, I'm telling you now, I've had a fair few of the coffee liqueurs on the market. I've had the Arabica, which is about 13, 14 bucks a bottle. And that's nice for its bang for buck. I've had Mr. Black, which is just sen sensational but it's expensive it's gone up another 10 bucks a bottle it's up to about 60 65 bucks a bottle about 80 for the one liter so jumping goat liqueur coffee cold brewed let's go cheers everyone straight away it's got that little burn on the back that alcoholic burn and it roughs it a bit it, its mouth feels a bit how you going I've done it without ice as well and it makes no difference really to me thirty three percent ABV it is a bit stronger I think mr. black's about oh don't quote me I can't remember but I'll tell you the one thing about mr. black actually we'll stick to the jumping goat because I'm gonna get a bottle of mr. black and review it this is this was on special for forty dollars or forty five dollars with the Dan Murphy's card, and it's it's worth probably. Oh look, I don't really like it. I'm sorry. Um, it's just not my cup of tea. I love 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 most things that come out of New Zealand, but this is just very the alcoholic burn on the end is the one thing that gets me. Yeah, it's warming and it's got a bit of a bite to it. But it tastes, I don't want to be offensive, but it tastes a bit cheap for what you pay. You can go get that Arabica, and like I said, 13 bucks a bottle, and it is lower in ABV. But to me, it's more authentic in coffee flavour, and that's probably going to piss some people off. I wouldn't personally buy this again. Uh, no offence. It's okay. Look, it'd be nice in cocktails and things like that, and mixed drinks. Remember the old, we used to have Kalur and milk. I remember if you'd, you'd have the hair of the dog and you'd be waking up going, oh, I've got a, got a, a function or I've got a, a few of the boys in the team are going out and girls in the team are going out, you'd be like, jump on the Kalur and milks. But they are so easy to drink, and I'll tell you what, if you have a crafty after like a lot of milk, yeah, you know what's going to happen. It's fountain time. <laughs> Out of the mouth, not the other end. <laughs> but yeah, jumping goat liqueur. Uh, look, I'm not jumping that much. It, it's okay. Get it on special, yeah. Uh, I definitely would pay the extra few bucks and get Mr. Black. That's just me. Or I'd be a tight ass, which I sometimes have to be. And I'd just get the Arabica, which I may have in the... I may have a bit left in the cupboard somewhere they don't last long here mate i love coffee this could be your wake up and have your espresso in the morning on the way to work <laughs> we're at work and everyone's having a coffee yeah i've, I've got mine i've, I've just had what's jumping goat oh it's just a new zealand brand of bean oh, yeah. 
next minute in the meeting, cracking jokes. Anyways, dad joke. Love each other, take care of each other, be kind to each other. Jumping goat liqueur, yeah, look, if you see it, if you want, give it a run. But, oh, look, I pay the extra, get Mr Black. That's just my two cents. Sorry, New Zealand, I have supported you financially in every other way possible with your beer. And I'd love to, I'd love, I haven't been to New Zealand. I, I'd, I'd like to go over there. I definitely would want to go for the breweries. I know, that's me. Because um, I like beer, I like travelling around and trying new beers, but I'd like to go to that, because I like the Lord of the Rings too. I think being a bit of a nerd I am, and nerds are cool these days. Um, Lord of the Rings, yeah, that's pretty cool, but look, I'm not going to float. I'm not that desperate to go there. I would. I just love, this is my idea in New Zealand. You ready, guys and girls? Just a camper van. Just a camper van. And... Travel around in a camper van with the miso and just stop and pull up anywhere where there's beautiful mountains, lakes, just eat good food in the rough, drink nice beers and just chill and be happy. Taking the scenery more than anything else. I think that's the best thing about New Zealand, getting out of the city maybe, I don't know. Or the cities. Two islands down there. Anyways, I'll see you at the next one. I might have a crafty or a beer left in the fridge for later on the night. I'm cooking some... Uh, I did a Chinese uh, barbecue pork. I always get barbecue and roast pork mixed up. Roast pork's with a crackling, but barbecue pork's the red sort of five spice, real flavour. So I've got a nice slab of uh, barbecue pork cooking in the oven, and I'm going to slice that up. I might do it with some noodles, some broccoli, some, you know, just a nice soup. Or I could even do, uh, look, i tell you what, some of that Chinese barbecue pork, just with rice and a bit of soy sauce splashed on top. Tiny bit of soy, bit of chilli, bit of sambal alek. Yum. I love my food. I love my booze. I don't know. Waiting on to hear a few things this week. But generally, yeah, keep fighting, Dal. In hospital, keep fighting, mate. Fucking don't let anything stop you. It's easy to say, hey, mate. I'm thinking of you. And a shout out to all the subscribers. I'll catch you the next one. Love you all.